course, Notre Dame and Alabama played in the BCS championship game, and the Tide smoked Notre Dame. So Alabama is the national champion. And Notre Dame finished at 12-1 and after losing that game. However, we have, first and foremost, an Ohio State team that went 12-0. and Tattoo Gate and NCAA violations forced out Jim Tressel and resulted in a bad Ohio State season in 2011 that uh, was coached by Luke Fickle, of course. And instead of instead of appeasing the NCAA and not playing in a bowl game and taking themselves and removing themselves from postseason eligibility in 2011, Ohio State AD Gene Smith did a rather foolish and stupid thing and went ahead and played a bowl game with two six and six teams involved that did not matter except for lining the pockets a bit. And Ohio State lost that game anyway. It didn't matter. They finished six and seven, and the NCAA slapped them with a postseason ban in 2012, even though Ohio State had hired Urban Meyer as the head coach. Again, why you go ahead and play that game, I have no clue. And I just think that was one of the most boneheaded moves um, that I can think of from an athletic director. And it burned Ohio State. So they went 12-0. and But there's no guarantee that they would have won the Big Ten championship game. Logic says that they would have. Uh, they were certainly the better team in the game. Wisconsin went instead of Ohio State, and they blasted Nebraska with 70 points. And Ohio State drubbed Nebraska that year. So most likely Ohio State would have drubbed Nebraska again. So we've got the matter of Ohio State in 2012. We also have a Florida team that gets little consideration, but look at that. They were number three in the country under Will Muschamp. Now they lost the Sugar Bowl to Louisville. So we are not going to give them a co-national championship because they blew it. Any possibility of that happening by our system in the Sugar Bowl, they lost to Teddy Bridgewater, Charlie Strong, and Louisville. Now this Oregon team, however, they defeated Kansas State. So you had a matchup of Oregon State or Oregon and Kansas State in the Fiesta Bowl. Ducks won at 35-17 and were, of course, the much better team in that game. So under consideration for postseason play, you really had five strong candidates here with record-wise. Now, if Ohio State would have been eligible, then you've got a nice six-team playoff for those teams, people that like six-team playoffs. And again, Oregon State defeated Kansas State. So when it all comes out in the wash after postseason play, Alabama, of course, won the national championship in resounding fashion. However, Oregon, Oregon finished 12 and one with the same record as Alabama at 12 and one. Oregon, I believe, lost to Stanford. That's the reason they did not play in the Rose Bowl. Stanford defeated Wisconsin, but they already had two losses, and Oregon lost that game to Stanford. So Oregon's loss was a good loss. They lost 17-14 in overtime to Stanford. Alabama's loss was to Texas A&M, who finished 11-2 and and won the Cotton Bowl with Johnny Manziel at quarterback. So Alabama 12-1, Oregon 12-1. Those are your national champions, along with had they lost a game. So this is my reasoning here. Let's say Alabama and Oregon are 12 and 1 and Ohio State's on probation and they go 11 and 1. But since they did not play the Big 10 championship game, could not go to postseason play to play the BCS championship game. Okay, those are two high end high leverage games that they could have slipped up and lost and not having those data points, I would not consider Ohio State. However, Ohio State went 12 and 0. There could be an argument, I think it's a weak, weak one, but there could be an argument to say Ohio State's the national champion in 2012 because they were the only undefeated team in college football. However, did not play a Big Ten championship game, did not play a 
postseason game. Therefore, our 2012 national champions are Alabama, Oregon, and Ohio State. 